Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is Steve Ladoce. He's a professor in the Department of Geography and Urban Analysis at Cal State Los Angeles. And he joins us to discuss how we can utilize ocean temperatures to predict weather. Nice to have you with us, sir. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, so interesting year. I know all the reports I kept hearing was that we were probably going to have a dry, rainy season. We had had four years of basically drought, you know, less than that, what we say about that, 15 inches of normal weather. That's not what happened. What changed? No, uh, we had this uh, terrible monster December where yes. one storm after another came in this sort of a, a river of moisture, they call it, from uh, Hawaii right across into Southern California. And so we got hammered by storms of two or three inches every day. And it was so bad for people. I mean, obviously we need the rain, but when it comes in a deluge like that, that's not how we want our rain. No, and it was very unexpected. Uh, all the uh, National Weather Service predictions were this was going to be another cool, dry year. Right. We and get surprised all the time. Define a La Nina for me. Mm -hmm. So when we have a La Nina, which is cool water in the eastern Pacific Ocean, we tend to have less moisture in the air and less precipitation normally. <laughs> I like this word, he's being good at it. Nothing's 100% is it? No. Okay. So we, we have had years where La Niñas have been wet. Okay. So just because you say La Niña you can't assume. What about an El Niño? What is an El Niño? The El Niño most people are more familiar with because they th think it's a storm or a rainy year and that's when the eastern Pacific ocean temperatures are warmer than normal. So it's the exact opposite of one another. And it just feeds the moisture in the atmosphere. So we get lots of rain. All right. So as you guys look at this stuff, and you have to look, you know, a lot of times we're saying to you, you know, right when rainy season ends, June yeah. 3rd, we're saying, so tell us about the next rainy season. We're forcing people to tell us things. What, what goes into you guys determining what the ocean temperature is? And therefore, when we ask you, is this a La Nina year or going to be an El Nino year? What, what do you look at in regards to ocean temperatures? Well, we have uh, satellites that monitor the ocean, the ocean temperature and the ocean height, which responds to temperature. And these are very slow changes that occur over weeks to months. Uh -huh. So we can kind of estimate what's going to develop sometimes months in advance. Okay. So if there's an El Nino or a La Nina developing, then we can make a, a, a rough prediction that this is going to be our, our wetter or drier year here in Southern California. But then what events occur that your model looks great and you feel comfortable with it and you tell us something, what kind of things happen that can actually change uh, the outcome? Yeah, normally during a La Nina, the, the jet stream, which is a sort of a ribbon of very fast moving westerly winds, okay. is shifting north. And so the northwest gets lots of rain and snow, which they have this, this year. And we tend to be fairly dry. But sometimes we get this undercutting of storms below the jet stream, which is called a subtropical jet stream, okay. and brings in tropical moisture and we got a lot of storms. So I g g sit here and put you on the spot. Here we are in the springtime. Yeah. Any thoughts for what the rest of the year might look like? Well, the La Nina is still there. Okay. And so, you know, the gut feeling would be, again, with, war with cooler temperatures, we should expect cool, maybe foggy weather during the spring, early summer of this year. Our, our June gloom that we talk about, you oh, yes. probably return again? Okay. Yeah. In fact, during a La Nina, uh, a series of La Ninas, we had five June gloom summers. It was just terrible. And that's probably what you think might happen this year, unless a different jet stream comes in. Yeah, but now the, the La Nina is becoming weaker. So some people are, are even suggesting that it, it might go back to normal by the end of the summer. All right, so obviously he's being honest. We never know for sure, but thanks for your time, sir. You're welcome. Thank you for watching Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. The California Channel and your local cable provider are making it easy for you to keep up with all three branches of state government. Tune in seven days a week for complete gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of legislative floor sessions and committee hearings. Follow the governor's latest press events and roundtable discussions. And watch exclusive coverage from inside the chambers of the California Supreme Court. We're your streaming source for politics and public affairs that shape California. Only on the California Channel.